Hi, my name is Molly Gold and I'm the president and founder of Go Mom Inc. Today I want to talk with you just a little bit about pantry organization. It happens to be November, so for me, this is the time of year that I do this every single year, no matter if I'm entertaining for Thanksgiving or Christmas. While there might be another time of year that you like to do this. We happen to be very busy in the spring and summer and we're just playing not home very much. This time of year, my family's time turns inward and we're in our home, we're generally entertaining. And so having a well-ordered pantry really matters that I can get in and out, that the people who visit with us can get in and out and self-serve and my kids can get what they need. Couple of things about the pantry organization. Give yourself a couple of uninterrupted hours, maybe one evening after the kids go to bed, maybe during the day, during the week if you have that luxury, or on the weekend when no one's home. Plan on emptying the whole thing out from rafter to floor. I like to empty it all out at once, editing as I go anything that's expired or that's open but we just don't use, and then I can see the damage and see what I need to do. The next thing I do before I complete any storage organization project like this is I'll gather up any extra storage solutions I may have so I can repurpose them. I would love a customized pantry with professional organizing solutions, but like most of you, it's something I need to budget for. So in the meantime, I'm going to use a variety of storage containers. That's a really important tool. So then as you go back and put things into place, you can think about where you want to put them so that you can access them, where you want to put them so that your children can access them. A couple of quick suggestions when you're putting everything back. I'll show you my pantry. You can see up top is where I have things like candy, adult beverages, extra paper towels, all things that I can get down easily. My next shelf is where this is about shoulder height. I have baking supplies. I have everything we need to grab the box and make some cookies. And then I have these wonderfully organized spices here on my spice rack. This is a good example of a product worth adding. They're not very expensive. They're from Rubbermaid. They had sent them to me for a TV segment that we weren't able to complete. So I figured I'd show you how they work here. Just pull them down and go. And you can see that behind, I have room for those big spice bottles that never seem to fit anywhere. The next shelf down, and out of view is where you'll find all sorts of canned goods. But this is something that my kids can get to easily if they're going to help me make dinner. And I can say, hey, go grab the soup or the beans. Very easy to access our cereal shelf. And right here, you'll see one of my favorite things, labels. Notice that here I have these labels on my cocoa basket. So if we have guests that need tea, coffee, cocoa, or hot chocolate, labels for where the cereal and everything goes, labels on the snack bin so that you know exactly what's in there. And this is where um, we get a little bit below waist level for all things snack, chips, paper plates, and any sort of storage boxes. Here's another thing that I uh, repurposed. You can see right in there is where I have paper bags for lunch and extra Ziploc bags, something we don't really need that's out of the way. And then these wonderful shelves that I am just in love with. These are a fantastic tool. I've got my spice packets in here. You know those things that are always really hard to put into one place? Well, this great little product from Rubbermaid just pulls right on and off. No assembly required. Down below is where I have paper goods. I have paper plates. I've got extra storage containers because we're getting close to Thanksgiving. I've got our phone books and whatnot. That's where I'll also keep my seasons binder. And then on the floor is where I'll keep extra thermoses and lunch boxes. That's where I'm storing all the items that I need for the holiday. And we've got the dog food. So the key to my pantry, the solution to making all this work is emptying it, editing it, so that whatever goes back in it is only what we need, playing with a couple of storage solutions to make things very portable. Notice that when we're baking cookies, we just need to pick up the basket and go. When we're making lunch, we need to just pick up the thing of chips and set it down and everybody can make their lunch. See where I'm going with this independence? And then also making it a place where I can build on what I need to be collecting, i.e. the box that I have the list of items that we are gathering over the month of November so that we'll have when it comes time for Turkey Day. I hope that my suggestions for a well-organized pantry will help you get started on this project in your home, whatever time of year that you do it. And I would love your comments if you have them. And also I invite you to use the coupon code that we've supplied from Stuck On You Labels because their labels made a great 
project even better by being able to identify for anyone and everyone exactly what was inside any bin that I could use. No excuses. Get out there and get organized. I'll see you next time.